everyone and welcome back to the Musings of a Bored Mind. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to take your terminal looking from this to this. For the past few years, I've just been using the laptops that I would get from work. And so I haven't touched my personal computer in a while, but I opened it up the other day to film these videos and I was shocked when I looked at the terminal. It was so green and so disgusting. I guess when I was at uni, I probably thought I was such a hacker. I was so cool for having a green terminal. Um, but I thought I'd film the process of me switching it up and making it a bit more aesthetic. By default, macOS ships with CSH or Zshell or Zish. I'm not really sure how it's meant to be pronounced, but I'll be calling it CSH. Before this, um, Mac came with Bash by default, but in 2019 with the new OS upgrade, they switched to CSH. And so I'll start by just double checking. I have that installed and um, just checking the version. Next, I'll run this command to install omycsh. I'll put all of the commands in the description down below so you don't have to worry about pausing the video. Oh my ZSH is just a pretty popular open source framework to help manage your ZSH configuration. And I just grabbed the command from the readme on their GitHub. I'll link to that in the description as well. Next, I run this upgrade command to upgrade to the latest features that OMIZSH oh has to offer. Next, I'll change the default theme. I'll do this by opening the zshrc file. You can do this using uh, either the nano command to open it in your terminal, or you can find it um, and open it in a text editor on your machine. Which is what I'm doing over here. I'm just going to open up the zshrc file in VS Code. That's the text editor I use personally. Um, but you can open it up in whatever text editor you have. I'll then have a look at applying a custom theme and I spent quite some time browsing through all of the different themes Oh My ZSH has to offer. I'll add the power level 9k theme. This theme adds git information to your terminal which is super handy when you're programming um, in Git repos. You then want to source the zshrc file, which just updates your terminal, and you can now see Git information being shown. The next step is to customize fonts, and so I'm just going to clone the Powerline fonts repo to have access to all of the fonts Powerline has to offer. Once that's been cloned, I'm going to change into the fonts repo and install all of the fonts. Because the fonts repo is a Git repo, you can see the Git information being displayed a little bit more clearly here. I'll then click on Terminal and click on Preferences. Click on Profile and then click on the Change button in the Fonts section. This little pop-up will appear on the bottom and you can browse through all of the fonts you have. You can play around with different ones, but I'm going to pick in Consolata for Powerline. And you can see in the back how the fonts changed. Look how much nicer that one is. I'm then going to play around with some of the font settings. I'm a little bit blind, so I'm going to turn the font size up. You can change the character spacing if you want. I chose not to. I'm 
I'll also increase the line spacing slightly because I feel like it makes it a little bit more readable. And I'll round it off to five because OCD reasons. Now that that's done, we'll move on to the next and the most fun step, which is picking your color scheme. I'm using these Mac Terminal OS themes, which I'll link in the description down below as well. And I spent an embarrassingly long amount of time scrolling through all of the different color palettes to give me a couple minutes. Once I'd finally scrolled through and picked out the ones I liked, I downloaded those color themes. To download, just click Command S and you want to remove the .txt extension that gets filled in by default. You want to make sure it's a .terminal file type. Then go back to your terminal, click Preferences again, and you can click the Import button and navigate to where you have the file saved and import that theme. And to use it, just double click on the theme after it's been imported. And there you go, you can see the theme's been imported in and the color scheme of the terminal has changed. I'm just gonna go back and download all of the other themes I liked and import those all in one by one. I'll then just play around with a bunch of the different themes and you can do that by double clicking on the theme that you've imported to see which one you like one by one. After playing around with a bunch of themes, I've settled for this Mariana theme. I'm really liking the pastel shades and the slightly feminine touch, but of course you can upload any theme that strikes your fancy. After uploading the theme, I lost the font and line spacing information, so I'm just going to add that back in. So I'll pick the In Consolata for Powerline font again, and I'll set the line spacing to 1.053. Once I'd been done, I'd quit the terminal and booted it up again to see if all of my changes had been saved, and as you can see here, they hadn't. I forgot to set the theme that I liked to be the default theme. So to do that, open up your settings again, pick the theme that you like, and you can see this default button at the bottom. You want to click that. And you can see the theme has default written under it now, so you know it's been picked as a default. And again, I lost the line spacing information, so I'm just adding that back in. And there you go, you have this gorgeously customized terminal. I'm now just going to play around with some of the Git settings to see what it looks like. You can see when I check out a new branch, um, the branch name shows on the console. I want to see what a commit looks like, so I'm just going to create a new file. And you can see when I do git status, it says that I have an uncommitted file. When I add the file to staging, you can see how the color changes and how it changes again when I commit it. This is what the git log looks like and you can see all the different colors here as well. I've kind of decided that I don't like how much orange there is so I'm just going to switch some of those colors around and to do that I open up the preferences again. I'm going to switch the orange and the purple colors and so I just click on the orange color in the color palette and I pick the purple shade and just swap it around and do the same for the purple color. And now you can see that everything that was orange before is now showing up as purple. I decided to change the color of the cursor to be orange because why not? And to do that, click on the color block next to cursor 
and use the color picker to pick the color that you want the cursor to be. And you can see after I click orange, the cursor in the back becomes orange. I'm also going to change the style of the cursor to be a vertical bar instead of the block it is by default. And there you go, you can see the orange has switched for purple and the cursor is a blinking orange color now. When I do LS, you can see the folders are a cyan color, whereas the files are white. And when I do git log, you can see how the commit hashes are now purple instead of orange. And there you have it, your brand new fully customized terminal. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and if you did, it would mean so much to me if you could like, comment, and subscribe. And just starting out, so it would mean the world. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day.